And the Chairman House Committee on Persons with Disability, Honorable Bashir Dawudu, has pledged commitment to ensuring full implementation of the Persons with Disabilities Act. Dawudu made the pledge at a meeting on Children with Disabilities and Disability Act 2018 with the theme of the meeting titled Every Child, Every Right. Honorable Dawudu observes that there are still issues of discrimination against persons with disabilities and plans are ongoing to reenact the law with stiffer penalties. He acknowledged that there is a huge lacuna in the PWD Act that amendments alone cannot address. It is also going to go into some point to public hearing where you can bring all these issues on the floor. So the process has already started in terms of the thing that the gaps or lacuna are so huge that uh, it's not even amendable. I think it's going to have to be reignited, which is actually the bill that is in the house right now. My brother here, Honorable Wigan, also has an amendment that's going through the house about sign language. And on the issue of sign language, the speaker, your speaker here, our great progressive speaker here has approved the use of sign language in the chamber. <laughs> so very soon, and that's a legacy, that's not something that has happened in this chamber before, since yeah. its inception. It has only happened during the speakership of Right Honorable Tajuni Abbas, PhD. So that is, a, I would like you to know. While stating that a committee will continue to hold stakeholders' meetings with representatives of PWDs, he assured that the Speaker Tajuddin Abbas has approved the use of sign languages at the chamber during plenary seating. Members of the assembly are your servants. They're not your guests, like some people will think sometimes. So uh, I'm really, really glad that you also express your mind and the things that we're going to be able to do for you. We have plans to have an agenda setting event which you have more of the clusters, the larger community, where you will tell us what you would like us to do for the next four years. No doubt about that. That is going to take place. Now, in terms of the concerns that you have raised there today, yes, we have also been thinking a lot about it. So, yes, the Child Act needs to be amended. But it is letting your heart to know that there is already an amendment or a reenactment for the Disability Act. Earlier, the Persons with Disability Community in Abuja at the National Assembly to amend relevant laws to protect children with disabilities in the country. Ms. Constance Onyemechi, Executive Director of Women and Girls World Albinism Network. Teachers should be educated on special children. They have the right to learn. They have the right to go to school. They have to, the, the right to, 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 come, to relate with other children. Parents don't allow them to play with their children because they don't know much about them. I look at them, they call them this, they call them all sorts of things. So my daughter had to remove her after three years in the private school. A friend, I was just one that was cooking, I was just going through my phone. I said, let me look for school, special school. Somebody advised me to take her to a special school. And I wrote her, in that school, she could not write anything after three years. She cannot read, she cannot even do anything. Now let me start with health. For a person with albinism, we are very prone to skin cancer. And it leads to continuous exposure to the sun. Over time, we begin to have moles, warts, and then if not checked correctly, it, it becomes skin cancer. And we know that the health facilities cannot really attend to our needs because chemotherapy is expensive. And at the end, persons with albinism die. And when that person dies, it simply means the person cannot achieve what he or she has been brought into this world to achieve. into why we are here, you mentioned some cardinal issues that, uh, you know, I think you should be able to put alongside with the National Child Act and the National Disability Act. In between those acts, there is a lacuna. 
there is a lapses. And I think the House Committee should be able to, if possible, expand the social uh, gathering, uh, gathering or what have you, so that we'll be able now to marry the National Child Act and the National Disability Act. Because we look at the National Disability Act 2018, does not take care of some of the issues that have to do with a child living with disability in Nigeria. For instance, you make mention of education. We talk about inclusive education in Nigeria. It's a mere theoretical jargon. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.